have everything urban. It's your man, Donnie O. Yes. J-Mo. Yes. You don't. When the will I got won't and competition ain't dope. Beat your break, your broke, your smoke, your take, your send you to your little group on mute. Sooner or later, you want to flip, tell them full, send me half with a and all that other ring, let bro. It's a sporty yeah, 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 it's the kid, Merrillis Mixtape Boss, DJ Ill Kid. Catch me every Sunday on Live 97.5, you feel me? Live 97.5, you dig? 4 to 7 on It's Yours Radio. Salute, DMV Mixtape Boss. Let's go. It's yours, Radio Live, Live 97.5, everything urban. Breakfast Club in the morning, Ryan Banks at night. You know how we do each and every Sunday, 4 to 7, Donnie Yo, J. Mo. Yes, indeed, home in the Eastern Shore, ambassador and the prime minister. Back to finish our business up. Who we got on the line, Donnie Yo? Look, we got a good brother on the line. Now, now I know y'all seen a lot of them paper planes around. You know what I mean? On no the doubt. house, on the tees, you know? And... I've seen a lot of Pumas around lately, too. Facts. Rebirth of Puma. Facts. And there's a reason why all that's happening. We got the good brother on the line right now, Emery Jones. What's good, baby? What up, family? What up, home team? Hey, yes, indeed, bro. What's happening, cuzzo? What's up, cuzzo? Uh, first of all, man, uh, uh, welcome to It's Yours Radio Live 97.5, man. We appreciate you doing this, no doubt about it, man. And you know the home team always proud of you. We always shouting you out each and every Sunday when we on four to seven, we keep the fresh Rock Nation hats on. You know how we do it over here. Now listen, man, it, it's nothing like home, man. So to see, you know, one of us doing what y'all doing, I salute y'all because at the end of the day, we drive the culture. So if they ain't got the culture in the mix, it ain't right. No question about it. No question about it. And and that's one thing about you. You know, you've always been fashion's always been your thing. You know, you, you always stay G'd up, you know, and, and it's only right that you took it to the next level, you know, and, and showing the culture, showing these kids. Um, I know you're a huge advocate for the youth and showing them that, you know, and J-Mo as well, that everybody don't have to rap. Everybody can't rap. You know what I mean? Everybody is not going to mm -hmm. be a DJ, you know, so there's other ways to influence the culture. And, and you've been a huge uh, example of doing that. Um, just speak on that at really the youth part of it because I see you're a huge advocate for the youth and and you're a huge inspiration not just for the youth for but for adults as well. But just speak on that real quick. I mean, for me, you know, fashion has always been my conversation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Through the fashion, I can go anywhere and have a conversation with anybody mm -hmm. because we all can communicate through dope. Fresh, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It don't matter where you're from. You recognize somebody that's fresh. Mm -hmm. That know what he's doing in that world. So for me, it's a conversation. Because that conversation make us put everything to the side. It don't matter where you're from, what neighborhood you're from, how old you are, what color. We can have a conversation around fashion, sneakers, or whatever fashion is to you. Mm -hmm. Just so, Go ahead. So for me... So for me, I like to utilize that for the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like to me, I look at it like this. It's three universal conversations out here that we all relate to. It starts with the music, then the sports, then the fashion. I choose the fashion to talk. Mm -hmm. very, 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 that's very key. And it's crazy because you're, you're, you're using the fashion and, and it's influencing music and sports. You know what I'm saying, which yes. is which is incredible because now you tapping into all three that you just named, and no, and those are the probably, I mean, we look at on the music side, okay. Obviously, we look at a Jay Z. You know, um, on the sports side, you look at a LeBron James. You know, and back in the day on the fashion side, you had Dapper Dan, and you know, then you had Russell Simmons and Fact. and uh, Damon John. You know, we just going through that whole era. Um, you know, fashion, the what I like to call the uh, the Renaissance era, the golden era of urban fashion. Um, right. Just a real quick story, real quick. I remember it was probably ah man, late nineties, whatever. Because you know, e, you had you had your store in Cambridge. Um, mm -hmm. I had my spot in Easton. J Mo, you had your spot in Cambridge. Fact, a hip hop star, no doubt. Yeah. So it was crazy because um, I went over to East Spot, checked them out. You know what I mean? And he was like, "Yeah, I heard you got a store in, uh, in Dodge." I was like, "Yeah, yeah." You know, I said, "Matter of fact, I just copped some um, rockerwear up at the." Um, at the uh, Javits Center, they had the uh, they had the fashion show up there. Yeah. So he was like, "Oh, um, I got a box back here for you. Hold tight." 
So, yo, you went in the back and you gave me a whole box of rock and wear tees on the house, yo. And I was like, my man, my man, exclusive joints. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I mean for me, for me, right, you just broke down how you named all the names of sports and music and everything else, right? Mm -hmm. For me, even, even coming from a small town like Cambridge, right, to understand, don't look at it because of the numbers. You know what I'm saying? The number, the number don't mean nothing when you, you know, you got the good, the bad, the ugly anywhere. You got, you know, some real ones, you got some fake ones, you got all that everywhere. Mm -hmm. Don't matter. Small town, big city, worldwide, don't matter. Right? Mm -hmm. So for me, for me, I looked at it in the sense of, when I say sports, music, fashion, right? And it's all the fresh. Think about it. Us from the show. What was one of the most important things during high school for us? Friday Night Lights. Mm hmm Yep, yep. Friday night lights, you know what you're gonna get, right? Yes, you're gonna get yep. the game. Yep. You're gonna get the game, so that's family time to game, right? Mm -hmm. You come in, you're gonna make sure you're fresh. No question. You're gonna make sure you're fresh, and guess what? After the game, it's always the party. No question about it. No question about it. And and that's so, the and that's the essence of it from when you when, when somebody gotta look at it from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? Yes. I see all you see too, but I deal with more the everyday guy because I'm the everyday guy. Mm -hmm. I I ain't chasing nothing. I ain't chasing nothing. Wow, wow. This, this I ain't chasing nothing. Speak on the um the paper plane because a, a lot of I've seen a lot of folks you know they, they wearing the paper plane the hats you know the paper plane. This speak on the um the idea how they came about. I mean it was it was it was a time was though when I came home you know rock and roll was in a decline. So, you know, it wasn't a point of it was dying. It was a point of it, it was still making $40 million a year, but it was it still set up the way it ran before. So in that business, it didn't look sustainable because guess what? Urban was going out the door. Mm. But, it, but they was forcing Urban out the door, not because Urban was dead, it's because we forced ourselves out the door for them to come in and do the same thing that we've been doing at Urban, but call it something else and then charge you five times the price. Mm, right. Mm. You know, right? So I'm sitting there saying, like, yo, it's time for us to, you know, make that next step. You know what I mean? Because Jaden went out the roof right now. When he went out the roof, a lot of people didn't keep up. So you can't you can't catch up to that. It's like, what's next? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we kept to the plane, our, our mindset was, you know, we went through a bunch of different things and then finally that one came up and Jay was like, that's it? You get what I'm saying? It was like, that plane, anybody can relate to a paper plane. Mm -hmm. It don't matter where you're from. No matter what you're going through, we all can relate to a paper plane. Because for us being in the hood, we look at it like this. This was our escape away. Let me, let me mentally get away, right? Mm -hmm. to, to the person that comes from where the white picket fence is and, okay. and living good to our eyes, we're still having problems. Life still has problems. That's They're fact. trying to get away from that problem zone. Mm -hmm. so they go fly away from there, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. So, so it's all about showing a kid that you can relate to somebody anywhere in this world, regardless what. Wow, wow. And piggybacking on that, um, just into you know, you just you know had your release of the um, the Puma, kind of the rebirth of Puma. You know what I mean? I mean, you've yeah. been, you've been with Puma for what, eight, like eight years now, right? Yeah, eight years. Eight years. It's been a. I, I started consulting with him from eight years. You know, you start from the, you know, when you start from the uh, the water boy, and you, you know, what I mean, you play the game. <laughs> no doubt, no, no doubt. doubt. You play the game, but you but you play the game knowing where you're trying to go. Mm. And I knew where I was trying to go from day one because when I first bought it out and, and would start messing with, you know, people laughing. You know what I'm saying, Puma? Because you know, think about it. At that moment, eight years ago, the only two sneakers you talked about in the business was Nike and Jordan. Mm. He didn't talk about nothing else. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Them people controlled everything moving in the sticker business. Yeah, and and and, and, and um, uh, you kind of, I guess you kind of touched on. I was going to add one of the questions was why why choose uh, Puma as opposed to, to Nike or Adidas or whatever. But you, you just kind of answered that right there. You know what I mean? Uh, it, a, it was always about listen. We know what we know what Nike is. Nike is King Kong to this. Right, right. Nike the one that inspired me from younger to understand I can go somewhere else, just do it. So I understand what that means. You know what I'm saying? Right. I understand what that juggernaut means. You see what the beautiful things Dean is doing with everything going on. You know what I mean? Always been that, right? So mm -hmm. for me, I was always the ones always looking for something different. 
When everybody going over here, I'm gonna step over here and just walk in the room and shake the room up some. No doubt. So that's 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 fresh for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It about the highest paid shoe. It's about the right shoe at the right moment. Mm, true so indeed. me, me, I don't wear designer sneakers, but I understand. Mm -hmm. Is that is that mindset? Mm -hmm. One of one of the things you know when when I when I first thought of Puma, you know, I saw the Puma. I, I go back to the suede Pumas back in the in the in the eighties when we was break dancing and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, <laughs> yes, sir. I, I'm gonna tell you this. For uh -huh. me, I remember. I remember we had the store on um, Ray Street downtown in Cambridge. With, with Mr. Jackson, mm. Henry Jackson, yeah, Henry his Jackson. pops had this, had the store, and you had they only had you had to go and they had the catalog, so you had to go order the shoe, they ship the shoe to the store, then you go pick the shoe up. No out doubt, the catalog, yeah, wow. no doubt. That's yeah. how we had to do it. No doubt about it. Wow, was that was that? You know what I'm saying, no doubt. So ain't no, ain't no. It, it, it's, it's been who we are, mm -hmm. right? It, my thing is, my thing is, when I started paper planes, my, I mean, when we started paper planes, and the, that was that next transition when Jay said, "Yo, it's time to take this next step," right? Mm -hmm. My thing is, my mindset is this: the world is big but small. You got so many people, you got so many things. Out of month, you got a thirty-day calendar, right? Mm -hmm. All I need is one day out your month. Let me start there. Mm. If I get one day out your month, I'm in the game. Right. Because there's a million brands out here fighting for a spot. Mm -hmm. All I need is one. So if it's just a hat, then I win there. If you, if you like the socks or whatever I'm doing here, if you like what I'm doing over here, you whatever you pick and choose, all I need is one. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, a, it's a little bit for everybody because, like I said, ain't nothing but some, some everyday, you know, comfort leisure. Right. And we all grew up a sweatsuit. I'm never going to walk away from wearing a sweatsuit. Mm -hmm. I don't care what's going on. I don't care... What trend is happening? What's what? I always need my sweatsuit. And see, that's the thing about your with your style and 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 how, the flavor that you you bringing back to Puma. You know what I'm saying? It's vintage. Like there's no time set on it. There's no date. You know what I mean? It, it'll always be relevant. You know what I mean? I mean, think about it. If you look at all the brands and what's trending out here, right? Mm -hmm. When you look at pants, right? Mm -hmm. The pants trend is something that looks like the tuxedo side and all that stuff. You know, pants and slacks and, and sweatpants and all with the stripe down the side, right? Mm -hmm. Right. In, in different vague versions from high end to low end, right? Mm -hmm. All that is is a Puma T7 track suit vintage. Wow. That, wow. That's that, fact. That is. No doubt that about is. it. Yeah. You know, and, and, and you, you kind of tapped on it too um, a little earlier. We talked about um, earlier, we were talking about like the, the mid, I guess the, the early to mid to late 90s where you had. Rockaway, Carl Kanai, you know, Mecca, Maurice Malone, Fat Farm, Sean John. I mean, it was just a plethora of urban um, designers to choose from. That was one of the reasons I started my store, because to have a central spot, you know, for the for the urban designers. And, of course, in the early 2000s, you started to see that fade away. And it was... But, but think about it, though. Mm -hmm. Think about it, though. Mm -hmm. Let me, I, I love you brought that point up. Mm -hmm. Look at this one point out of all that. You named all them brands who was making so much money to change the scope of history and going to be a part of that, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Everybody was on the same highway, was just in different lanes at the same time. Mm. No doubt. So it's room for everybody. It's room. It's, it's room for everybody. That's so right. When you look at when you look at boom, I'm just all I did was wake your eyes back up to say you got another option. Hmm. Great point. That's it. Point. Great point. We got Great another point. option that we all relate to. We all that came up on. We all in Adam. Yeah. That's right. That's all we doing. Yeah. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing beyond that. You feel what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's it's all about flavor. It's like you pull up to the family union, huh, cuz? We pull up to the family union. We waiting to see who's fresh. That's right. Yeah. Every yeah. year. Every year, Labor Day, uh, Memorial every Day year, weekend. We, we know we ain't going to see everybody at the right all the time. That's right. That, that time your cousins come from Jersey, your people come from Boone, everybody from all over. That's right. And we Boom. still doing it. Still doing it right it's, now. It's, you, you, you wake up, and you, it's an everyday occurrence for me, man. Fresh, man. Fresh. Even when you're not putting nothing new, it's just, a, it's just who you are, man. Yeah. Like, and, we, and, I, and I feel like, when I grew up coming through the shore and knowing what that was and you find them pockets, not everybody, but you find them pockets, we we, we go with anybody with the fresh. No mm -hmm. doubt. Anybody. No anybody. Doubt. You know, when we was when we was growing up, right? 
when Emery, Emery would come to school with some new shoes on, right? Mm -hmm. They'd be like, yo, did you see them shoes Emery had on? That'd be the talk of the school, bro. Right, right. Did you see them joints Emery had on today? No doubt about it. Yeah. You know, always had the freshest gear, freshest kicks, you name it, mm -hmm. man. I mean, for real, Emery always set the trend and grew for what was what was hot. You know what I mean? Because he's going, he was everywhere there. New York, be more everywhere. Yeah. So if Emery had it on, you knew it was fresh. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it, it's it's kind of like now to see him move that Puma brand along. You know, once again, I see the same thing happen. I saw a picture with Nori with the fresh uh, uh, new Emery Jones Puma set on uh, on Instagram. Yeah. Actually. So to see him move that worldwide now. Is what he always been doing since we was growing up as kids, mm -hmm. no doubt. So you it, know? Just, it just made sense to make that transition Facts. into what he's doing now. And That's it, right. And it's something key that you said about when we were talking about that saturation of, of urban designers in the 90s. And earlier, one key thing you said, Emery, and that was, I just need one day out of 30 out of that month Boy. to rock that pool. Boy. That's it. Word up. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Why? I mean... Listen, I still like what I like. When I see something I like, I get it. I don't wear Puma every single day. Right. When I like what I like, I like what I like. But it feel good to understand, to be able to be in front of something and see it transcend over your eyes again and can say, yo, you was at the head of that. No, it ain't no, it was a bunch of this and that. No. A kid from Cambridge, Maryland, 12,500 people, right? Mm-hmm. They still go back, test the people, love it all, and I and I represent home to the fullest. Start from Cambridge, Eastern Shore, still small in a pocket, right? Mm -hmm. To do that for a brand like Puma, if that don't if that don't wake us up and say, look, we can do whatever we want to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can look at it. We can look at it for whatever. I was blessed to have a support system, of course. Right. But guess what? Without the mindset, the support system means nothing. Facts. Nothing, nothing no at doubt. all. You know, because it's a lot of cats. That that's had that support system that's been, I'm sure, in your circle and been and and, and didn't, you know, um, use what they had to take advantage of that situation and you know whatever whatever it is that you're you're, you're great at, you know, like J Mo, you know, he he does the production side. That that's his lane. I'm a, I'm gonna tell and you. And guess what? And he feels good doing it. He wake up, every time I see him, I see a look in his eyes that he feels good about what he's doing. No doubt, cause I was I was telling Donnie one day off air. I said, you know, it, it's it's funny. I, I remember me and me and cause Emery standing up up top, up uh, in front of else, you know. And mm -hmm. Emery came up with the fresh uh, uh, Rockefeller jacket on. You know, I said, cause I'm still trying to get in the business, and you know what I mean. Cause said, keep pushing, keep pushing. So now to see us come. Uh, as far as we done came with mm -hmm. this, me on the production, you know, of course, I started with the record side of the business. No doubt. You know, with Def Jam and Stony Music and a couple other and moved into production. But to see us be a part of that same family with, with Live Nation being a parent company, a rock nation, and we kind of end up in the same place on the same on the same shows and all of that doing these major tours being from Groove City, you know, Pine Street, man. It, it, it's just ama it's an amazing journey, man. So when I, whenever I see E, and he, once again, his family, so it's always love, man. And he was one of the guys that inspired me. I remember years ago, I'm working at the record store in, in B-more, and uh, here come Emery popping a, pop a joint, man. He got Jay-Z with him. He got uh, Foxy Brown with him. He got Big Todd with him. You know, he got Cal T with him, you know. Mm -hmm. Just coming in the mall to show me love. You remember that, E? You know? Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Listen, man. Listen, was, I, I, one thing for certain, two things for sure, right? It might look like I'm winning, but I don't look at it like that. I look at it, we win it. Because if this shit don't inspire us, nothing will. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. Nothing will. If, 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 we, if we still dealing with hate and all that, mm -hmm. then something wrong, man. I ain't, I, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of issues. Every day ain't good. Every day ain't going to be perfect. But if we still dealing with hate, mm -hmm. hate and others. Right. There's yeah. no. be able to aspire and I think I think passing the information on is, is more important for me I look at it I look at it if I don't get the information I'm gonna open the door for the information to be fed to somebody else right mm -hmm. I think that's more powerful than anything I can give you monetarily mm, right. true indeed true indeed and, and, and just piggybacking off of that again we have a Emory Jones of Rock Nation Apparel Puma Sportswear 
on the line with us. Again, Groove City representing the Eastern Shore, the entire Maryland, Baltimore, DMV. Um, a huge inspiration. Um, piggybacking and, and riding right into, segueing into um, the quotes on Instagram. I mean, you you very inspirational quotes every day. I look forward to them. And, and again, I talked about you inspiring the youth, but you also inspire adults as well. Uh, speak on how they came about and you and the Instagram quotes. You know, I'm, before I do that, I want to clear up some things. I want to make it sure. You know, Rock Nation is, is, the, is the hub of the whole, you know, universe of what we do. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, paper planes in the planes is the clothes, you know what I mean, the pound. Um, far as the far as the, the word of the days, man, it came from um, when I was in. When I was in, I was part of, you know, the system that first got emailed in the system. And yes, I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid to, you know, mention that I was, you know, I'm, I've been in. Mm-hmm. That was a part of a chapter in my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that chapter, you know, that's life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's life. You know what I mean? That's where I did that, got that done, where I met. You know what I'm saying? So right. um, I was part of that in the emails. So what they did was give us 30 people on the email that you can um, email mm-hmm. from, the, you know, every day, whatever. So for me, it was cheaper because you couldn't get many minutes. 300 minutes a month, them things gone. You can't get to touch everybody. So the email opened up the door for you to touch your people real time and get more touch in them through the email. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I started work. I started making word of the days from in there because I read a lot of self help books. Okay. So I I, I, re- I started doing the word of the day. So now it got to the point when you lock down, you can't go on for a few days or whatever. People like I call, when I finally get back on, like yo, ten o'clock. We was waiting on that 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 six for the day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like it was like like you know because guess what? The word of the day. You some people look at it like I'm talking to them. I be talking to myself sometimes. Right, 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 right. Still this day. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I'm still trying to better me, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, I do that, and I came home. We all we all got a mutual friend, I, I think, as a mutual good guy who's one of them guys I salute from the shore, being, you know, being ahead of his time and, and that mindset on something that he know could take him somewhere else. That's, that, that's, that, that's the good guy to go by DJ Randy Peter Positive one. Yes, indeed. Right, yes, bro. indeed. You know what I'm saying? So the whole time, me and Pete, he was, you know, rode the whole trip with me, you know? Made mm-hmm. sure and touched the family, the whole thing, and, and would come see me. And then when I came home, because, you know, he went through that transformation when we first went in of finding, you know, God and everything else. And, and you know, you salute him for that, but. To understand what he done from a music standpoint for us, mm-hmm. the man was making mixtapes in 1982. Right, no doubt. Right, no doubt. He was like you said, he was way ahead of his time. He was in <laughs> no sure. 82. He used to show you up. On, yeah, no doubt. He used to show up on Pond every Friday with a fresh no, mixtape. No. He was every pull up Friday. in any neighborhood that would book him, good, bad, or ugly. Yeah, <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. Indeed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying so. So you go from that, right? And um, I come home, and uh, one day he like, yo, I got a gift for you. I was like, cool. I, we see each other. He gives me a, a, a yellow envelope. I pull this envelope out. It was every word of the day that I sent home with the date on it. Wow. 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 That's dope. And that's Randy P, man. That, that, that's that's who Randy P. That's, that's who, who he is, is as a yep. person. Yeah. No doubt about it. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. That. You know what I mean? So so when they finally convinced me in my office, my, my, my little bro, Upscale Vandal, when he finally convinced me, like, OG, you got to get on social media. I'm like, nah, nah. You got to get on. Trust me. You can build this platform and do, because he's the one that shows me all. It's a method to that. You feel me? He's showing me that. Mm-hmm. And um, I said, well, if I'm going to do it, I got to get on here. I can't. I can't get on that. I don't want to talk old war stories. Them days over. Right. I don't want to talk about that. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, if I do it, flip it. Or do the days give us some energy because I need to talk to myself too, going through this process of working this paperwork down and everything else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. So I look mm-hmm. at it from that. I'm looking at that. I need that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and, and like I said, I'm you know far from perfect, but you know, you still need that. Definitely, definitely. Man. You still need that. You know what I mean? So I did it, and and, and, and here we are today, man. It took a life of its own. Mm-hmm. 
True indeed, true indeed. So let, let's go to the youth. I mean, you, you. Well, again, you're you've been. Let me see. You was in uh, you was in Groove Thursday, right? Yeah, Thursday, yeah. Thursday, Thursday. Yeah. and Baltimore huh. and in Groove on Thursday, right? right? Absolutely. Yeah, I did the uh, I did the uh, Riverside Academy in uh, Baltimore in the morning, and then did uh, the, um, Palmer Center uh, down in um. Apartment Center and, and Cambridge on Pine Street. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about um you 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 inspiring the youth and what that means. I mean, to me, I feel like you know, just seeing somebody just look like them and and, and, and is them and from where they from, the same town. Don't look at where I'm, where you think I'm at now. Look at that. I think to be able to do that and then come back and just make sure you you know you in hands reach. You know, I, I feel like. That's where it starts because I tell people all the time, you know, I can't save the world until I save myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm, I'm steady trying to build foundations so it makes it easier for me to, you know, be able to, to, to spread spread back the way it needs to be spread back. So for me, I look at it as like that time to bring Puma, to bring Puma to Cambridge. You know what I'm saying? And, and be around and see us and see, you know, yeah, I, it looks good at what I'm doing everywhere else, but to be core here, mm -hmm. like that alone, when you, you know, you should be inspired. You That's should be right. inspired that Kuma's in the building. You know what I'm saying? Which they should be in the building. Mm -hmm. You feel what I mean? Because guess what? You're, you're a consumer just like anybody else. Right. That's right. right. That's right. And to bring it home is like, once again, I mean, what what better way to do it? And, and, and I mean, if, if you can't get inspired from that to see a guy that's from the same hood as you grew up the same way to take on a national brand like Puma and do what he's doing. I mean, it, it don't get no better than that. It I mean, doesn't. they can't touch LeBron James. You know, they can't touch Kobe Bryant, but you can touch Emory Jones mm -hmm. in your hood. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, come on. You yeah. know, it don't get and, better than and, that. And, and the thing about that, when you say them guys, yes, they LeBron James and they Kobe, but they us. That's right. right. Exactly. They come from the same. They came from some of them. Not everybody, but some come from them scenarios, man. That's right. They come from them scenarios. They no different. It just so happened because they come who they are that we forget that they still one of us. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And that's why. That's why. That's why you see them doing great things because they one of us. That's right. And that's one of the things, man. Again, and I, I, I big you up because. You you have some situations where some cats they get that ego they get they they take that ride and they forget where they come from and that's something that you haven't done and and, and, I, and I again big you up for that man and and, and J Mo as well you know what I'm saying thank you I mean, bro I tell you what look at look at this collection right mm -hmm. this collection to be honest with you this collection the core of this collection and why it is what it is. It's because it came as well at Eastern Shore. That was my whole thing. My thing was, this is my last collection. I, I don't need to make collect. I don't need to sell shoes to be like, to put where I'm at value-wise, right? Right. I got bigger fish to fry. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I want to keep kicking these doors open the way you see certain things without getting into it to be like, oh, shit, that's M, M got his hand on that. Mm -hmm. M got his hand on that. M mm -hmm. got his, you know what I mean? But it's, Pushing more culture and pushing more people to win, right? That's right. But I took I took pride in making sure I stamp home on this project. On mm -hmm. every piece of everything in this project has home on it. And the and the garments, majority of all the garments, the the, the uh passes on it. If you read that patch, that's everything about home. You know what I'm saying? That's when fact. You get into, when you get into the box, the sneaker box, the print on top of the box is everything home. That thing is built from home. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Small town, big city, worldwide. You go to Cambridge by way of Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. uh, Harriet Tubman, you know what I mean? Past, present, and future. Underground, underground, you know, past, present, and future. You just, it's all tapped into that. Mm -hmm. It's all bloodline. Bloodline. Yeah. Facts. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No doubt. It's all bloodline. You know, the vast number of this package is my that number. Not because I want to talk about and glorify that side of it. It's who I am. Okay. It's a chapter. We all have made mistakes. Okay. That's right. No doubt. And and that and you talked about that, earlier about being on the inside, E, and that is something that a lot of um youth, some of our youth, we, we looked at the um, you know, in Baltimore City, we looked at where 
denied $11 million to the Baltimore City Public Schools, but he okayed. He passed the $30 million to uh, build a youth prison. You know what I'm saying? Because so, that's, that's, that's all they know. That's all they think they're going to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been, it's been going on so long, right? Mm-hmm. So now when we try to kick them doors in, we got to kick them doors in from every angle. Right. Because us, you know, that it's, it's, if we don't break the system, the system going to be what it is. Right, right. We yep. got to break the system. Mm-hmm. The system breaking the system. The kids can't break the system because guess what? They can't vote. They can't get out and speak on it. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it takes everybody in front of them. You know, one thing that we're going to try to do, too, you know, we're going to talk about maybe off air. You know, a lot of people always ask me, hey, you know, when you guys going to get together again and do another daddy-daughter dance, which was started by the Emory Jones Foundation. Mm-hmm. Speak on that, mm-hmm. E, and what your inspiration was in order to put that whole situation together. I mean, it was it was just like, uh, uh, you know, for me, I'm a mama's boy. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm a, I'm a mama's boy. You know what I mean? My mom is everything to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what that is for a, a, a grown man who's a, a secured man and everything else. I'm a mama's boy, so... When you look at that connection from a, from a little girl in, the, in our society, the first thing they're going to connect to is their dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, that, it's that connection. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was just something that you wanted to show, you know, wanted to show that side of knowing that the dad and his daughter can have their moment. Right. That's all it was about. Right. It's about having their moment. It's about their moment. I know, I know if you got a son and a daughter, I know the son home. Nah, it ain't that. Listen, it's a, you got days for everything. That's you know right. I, mean? but I just know it's just one of them things that nobody emphasized on. That's right. Mm-hmm. You know? First time I ever seen it in Groove, and it was it was a nice turnout. My daughter actually still talk about that. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No it's doubt nice. about it. Yeah. It, it's, more, it, it's more on that. You feel what I'm saying? It's more, it was more on touching that because I just think, you know, we get stereotyped as, as, as who we are sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's why I go back to say, you know what I mean? I know what we deal with and how we deal with it on a daily basis back home, right? But when you see the strength in a woman like my, you know what I mean, majority of our mothers. Right. I, she's the strongest person I know. Me too. I'm telling yeah. you. You it, know, it's funny you say that, E, because the last time I actually seen you was um at the uh, Baltimore Harbor and... I ran into you down there, and you were taking your mom out for a birthday out on Harbor. And I ran into you. I was like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> so I, I definitely know. You know, I see you definitely got that bond with your moms, man. And um, man, listen on my on my on, on that box. A lot of people know, and I hope somebody. I hope because I didn't get a chance to show mom. I hope somebody who listen to this go to show mom. When you look at this box and the patches, it says it says established date. It says established established right right and then a number it says 05 28 1951 that was the year my mom that's my mom's birthday that's what it established for me wow 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 that's big yeah that is and i think a lot of people miss that they don't know that oh, wow oh no, no they definitely wouldn't they wouldn't catch that <laughs> man man that's dope man it's it's it's, it's, it's all that in one hmm well, another thing, going back to something that you touched on earlier, um, with with the in, re, in relation to pro athletes and entertainers in general, people really don't understand the importance and the magnitude of what you've done. With, Hello? with, with they got to understand the magnitude and important importance of what you what you've done um, with your you know your your, your um, shoe collection with Puma because for the most part, it's pro athletes who have shoe collections. Right, and, and you, you hardly you you you, you have hard luck to find any rappers that have shoe collections. Yeah, but right. you have yeah. a kid from Cambridge, Maryland. Right, Emory Jones. Facts with a shoe collection. Facts a major shoe company. Facts. I, you got to really no, sit no, back and look up. at that. Two of them. This is the second collection. This is the second, second collection. Right. Second you had, collection. You had the custom too. You had the custom shoes too at one time, right? E. With the custom, yeah. right, right. I remember that, this, right. Yeah, but this is second. This is second Puma collection. And I'm talking about a full body collection, apparel wise, and the first collection two sneakers. This collection of four, three sneakers, the socks, and the book bag. Right. Come on, man. Come on, man. 
That's major, man. And again, you're and I, I saw the one. Well, it's the um, man. You had the uh, well, small, small, small town, big city. Yeah. Yeah. Again, paying homage to Cambridge, and of course, you know the connection with you know Brooklyn. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, again, I mean, to me, to me, I, to me, I'm always going to pay homage to those who helped me in my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And if it wasn't for Cambridge, I wouldn't be here. I, I came. I'm nobody without Cambridge. You know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with saying that. I'm, I'm cool with when you ask me where I'm from, Cambridge, Maryland. No doubt. I'm we, cool with that. We, we, I'm cool with that. We, we talk you know about I mean? that. A lot, me and Donio, a lot of people, you know, you know, I do a lot of productions with, D, with DMV, what they call a DMV, but, you know, DC, B-more, the whole deal. A lot of people get it twisted. We talk about that all the time. You know, they ask me, oh, you, you from B-more? No, I'm from Cambridge, Groove City, you know, and I, you'd be surprised how many people I run into Cambridge. Oh, oh, that's that's where Emory Jones from. That's that, that, that's that's where, you know, that, that's the joint that Jay rapped about. You know, yeah, that's it. That's Cambridge. That's where I'm from. Yeah, so um, so not just the sneakers. What else you have in the collection? Well, you gotta think it's, it's three, it's three uh, tennis shoes. Uh, one is a Clyde, one is a RSO, and one is a RS one hundred. Um, four track suit, pants and top, top and bottom. Um, a long sleeve cut and sew tee, mm-hmm. and then um, we got like three printed tees and then two uh cut and sew short sleeve tees. Uh, three pair of socks, uh, a golf shirt, a tennis shirt, and then um, the book back, the backpack. Mm. So you basically got a full line right there. Yeah. Yeah, man. Fair, fair, it's, a little bit, it's a little, it's a little bit for everybody. Like I said, everybody can't come and afford it and afford a pair of sneakers, even though I feel like it's priced right. You might just come get the socks. Yeah, right. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Just real quick before we um before we bounce, um, just talk about the you know you've coined the phrase, uh, bet on yourself. Speak on that I real mean, quick. I mean, for me, you know, you know, get that 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 nickname Vegas Jones, who we all know through the music for forever back when we went to Mike Tyson fight. You know, I, I felt like when I came home and, and you know, Poole was blessing me with this opportunity. He was like, you know, we want to do Emory Jones, Vegas Jones, and I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to make it about me. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to make it about me, and they kept persisting about it. I was like, you know what? Since I built this whole Vegas Jones up in, 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 from a great place, I was like, you know what? I got it. Mm-hmm. Vegas Jones come from all the wrong things, right? Mm-hmm. This whole this whole new thing of, and, and this energy I'm trying to push is all positive. So it's like, okay, Vegas gambling. Vegas, bet on yourself. Mm-hmm. So it was more or less flipped it to be like, yo, we we, we, we get up every day when I, every day when I hustle, regardless if it was a small town and you know every day we wake up to hustle, we wake up every day putting our life on the line. Mm-hmm. Right. Every every single day we wake up putting our life on the line and was cool with it. You know what I'm saying? It was it was like you got something that was like, yo, jail is jail. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're gonna die. You're gonna. You know, like every single day, and I'm like, wait a minute. If we could do that, why I'm not going to wake up every day and bet on me? Mm, right. To do something right. Right. That's deep. Like, I, I just thought of it like that. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, you know, I don't regret nothing that happened. It's, that's life. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's life. We put all that energy in that. Mm-hmm. It's 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 kind of, it's I guess it kind of all comes together because we had a guest on earlier and um, Big John John Minoki and and, and and Lawanda Jackson talking about their book. The book was called Institutionalized and talking about the reentry and and coming back into after being behind the walls and and tr- coming back in and and trying to reincorporate yourself into family into society yeah. and you know they have these stigmas on you you know especially if you went in for. For hustling, the first thing they, you know, cats around the way is like, yo, let's get these bricks and let's make this, let's move these bricks. And then you're like, whoa, I, I'm, I'm done with that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So it's taking those skills, those skills that you had previously, and those transferable skills, transferring those same skills into something legal. Right. And, 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 and that's, I think that's something that, again, we, 
touching touching the youth and and showing that look everybody you don't, you don't have to hustle you know what I mean everybody's not gonna be able to rap everybody can't shoot a jumper facts you know what I'm saying <laughs> no doubt so you facts. you you showing them that look here's a here's a, like you said there's many lanes out there that highway is huge with a lot of lanes find your lane and ride that joint. And you and, and for, and for, for me, it's more important to do it now because people that know me, even when I was out there doing wrong, I still was trying to help others not do what I do. Absolutely. Right? But guess what? In the, in the process of that, I, I probably saved a lot. And a lot of guys don't think me later than, than thank me before, you know what I mean? Because they're adults now. Mm-hmm. But think about it. I was a hypocrite at that moment because I'm telling them not to do something, but I'm doing it and they look up to me. Mm. Mm. That's right. Hold on. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So now, so now to be here, and I'm saying, like I said, I you know I wake up every day and I'm far from perfect, right? Mm-hmm. Right. But I know I'm not on that time. Right. Right. And, and that and that's the most important thing, you know. We we can always learn from the past, you know. Um, hopefully, learn from those experiences. I'm just not saying you. I'm just saying us and and general people in general. No matter what it is, you know, we all have some things. Whether, whether it be hustling or not, or whether it be, you know, procrastination or making some bad decisions. And, exactly. You know, right. I'm saying doing whatever it may be. But the important time right now is the present because the, the past you learn from and the future, we don't know what it's going to hold. But we can dictate the future by what we do right now in the present. That's so, right. You know, um, again, man, big ups to you, man. Again, we appreciate you, Emery Jones, Rock Nation, uh, Puma, Sportswear. You're doing your thing, man. Man, we're so proud of you. Um, man, and, and J Mo, you got anything before we bounce? Man, cuz once again, man, I you know, I, I definitely uh appreciate you doing this, man, and uh, I appreciate everything. You always inspired me to do, go go do better. Recently, I just announced the uh couple days ago, uh, the Jonathan Moloch Agency NYC. So I'm coming, I'll be there, cuz we I'm still working, uh, you know. So, listen, just as much, just as much as you, you say, I inspire you, say you do you. Is what I need some days, you know. What I'm saying? And that's that's what we got to feed off each other because at the end of the day, you know who we got but us. That's right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And, and, and when I say us, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't put it in the box of us. I'm just talking about us in general. That's right. I, mm-hmm. if, if we got people around us coming around us, you know, trying to do something right and, and bringing that energy, then the least you can do is have a conversation or, like you say, if the door open, yo, come on, let's see who's here. That's right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Right. Facts. Yeah. Well, again, I uh, appreciate you, E. Man, appreciate you for coming through, man, and chopping it up with us, man. Man, listen, man, I appreciate y'all. And like I said, before I go, I want to, you know, salute the show, man. Thank you for, you know, helping me become the man I am. I got one question for you, cuz. We, we got a listener that says, uh, if you could give the youth one trait from your life, what would it be? In my life, you got they got to set some goals. You got to set some goals, right? You got to set some goals, and if you if you set some goals, that means you got something to look for where you're trying to go. You got to set some goals. I ain't gonna say them goals will stay the same, but at least if you set the goal, you got to take steps to get to it. So taking steps that means you're gonna take some forward steps, progress to get somewhere. So you know you 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 got to set them goals. That's why I made that conversation is. If you don't set goals for your life, other if you don't set goals for yourself, other people will always run your life. You got to set them goals. And the simplest thing that our parents and everybody taught us, you got to have patience, man. Facts. You heard it first. All right. And on that note, again, Emory Jones, Rock Nation, Puma Sportswear, man, we appreciate you, family. Um, again, you know, as, as, as time moves, because I know you're going to, you, this is your, this is your baby right now. But I know you got some other things in the pocket lined up, waiting to go. You know what I'm saying? Because you always uh, keep it moving forward. You know, always prepared. Trust me. We just, I'm, I just, as much as you know, everybody feel good about it. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm like, I'm feeling like I'm just getting started. No doubt, no doubt. Like really, I'm just getting started. Word, word, word. Well, again, we appreciate you, B, and uh, man, we'll be hollering at you later. All right, family. All right, for sure. Thank Y'all you, man. You too, bro. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right, cuz uh, Be easy, bro. What? That's Emory Jones, Rock Nation, Puma Sportswear, It's Yours Radio Live, Live 97.5, Everything Urban, Breakfast Club in the morning, Ron Banks at night. It's yours. Yeah. 
Sunday, fun day, turn your radios up. Daddy O, J Mo, are you ready or what? 97.5, it's yours, radio live. From 4 to 7, you can chill before it's back to your job. You decide on your Sunday moves so you can cool out and groove out to Sunday school. If you coming from the sand, stuck in no C traffic, ill kid, the mixtape boss with OG classics. Anything from BDP to DOC, and of course, taking the sports break with POV. You get the news, it's real, don't ever get it confused. If the word is in the street, we'll definitely bring it to you. Get in tune, Mr. Whitlock, cool. Sheriff cool. Dave Clark, cool. they both blind, cool. that's the reason why they stay lost. We for the people, that's the reason why we stay truest. Look at the coons, always trying to dance their way through it. If you got bars and send them in, just make sure it's clean and ill or give it a spin. If it's hot, then it's here. If not, it's gotta go. Hip-hop and neo-soul. J-Mo and Donnie O, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.